Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs, and today I wanted to share with you how to install the new Caesar tools. There are two tools in this package, the Caesar crease tool, which is designated by tool tips on both ends, and the Caesar easy etch tool, which has one pointed end on the bottom and a smooth end on top. We're going to take a closer look at installing these tools. They will be installed in basically the same way. It is going to be dependent on the materials that you are using and the thickness of those materials. It will vary for all materials and your settings are going to vary for all materials as well. The best way to know what is going to work for you and your machines is to test it. Get extra blanks and you are going to have mistakes and duds. It's just part of the game. It is part of the learning process. So let's take a closer look at installing these tools and I'll give you some tips that will hopefully help in your success. Now here are the two tools that are released by Caesar. Here is the easy crease tool. It has a dual tip on either end and then you have your Caesar easy etch tool. It is sharp on one end for etching. It has a flat top. This is how you can distinguish between the two tools. I'm going to use the etch tool as the example, but the installation is the same for both of these tools. You're going to unscrew this silver screw on the front of the housing, and you can slide this into the housing. You do not want to simply drop it into place. So I have placed my cutting mat here for a reason. It is loose. It is not locked into place. But if I simply drop this into place, it's going to hit the bottom of the machine. I'm not sure it'll come through on the microphone, but you can hear it clunk if you do this in person. The first thing I do is I'm going to start by just lifting it up and I'm going to look underneath that housing at the tip of the tool. You do not want the tool tip to be touching the machine or the cutting mat. So once I have that in place, I'm going to simply turn the screw to the right to lock it into place. Now, any further adjustments can be done once you have your cutting mat and your blank on top of your cutting mat and secured. Thickness on your blank is going to affect where you want that tool tip to start. Let's take a look closer at the bottom of this tool tip so you can see where mine is. The bottom of the tool needs to have enough clearance that it is going to clear your cutting mat and whatever blank that you have on top of the cutting mat. You do not want your tool tip to be resting on the cutting mat or the blank. If it is, or any time that it comes into contact with your blank or your cutting mat, when it is not in the etch or crease process, it will leave a mark. This is going to take time and practice for you to get used to and you are the one in charge of this in entire process. The tool does not have any designations because materials vary worldwide. So there is no set designation for depth or for force. You are in charge and you are going to need to test for your materials. Even if I share my settings for the materials I am using, that does not mean that those will work for you. Hopefully these tips have helped in the installation of these new Caesar Easy Crease and Easy Etch tools. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Make sure to check out the description for additional information and links to future tutorials that will be released on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications as well if you'd like to be notified of future content. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.